Hey guys, I hope all is well with everyone. Um, so just so you know, um, in this one here, we're gonna ask, um, hold on, let me count again. I don't wanna give you a false number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay. Eight questions, um, on Baby Monster, and then Friday, I will come back to it. Um, we'll keep doing parts. There's a lot of questions, which is perfectly fine. Um, I, I seen everybody's questions. I didn't respond yet because sometimes it's hard to go back to the comments that I've already responded to. I mean, there's some comments that I keep coming to that, um, I didn't even, I didn't get a notification that they were there and, um, I, I didn't see it. Um, so it's one of those, uh. But I don't want anybody to feel ignored. So I do see you. Um, I did actually start jotting down some of those questions. And I was like, you know what? I could save my time by starting the video now. And then jotting down the questions. I was going to do that this morning. But I had a doctor's appointment I had to go to. And they withdrew. Oh, so much blood. And it hurts my right arm. Um, but anyways. Um, I will have timestamps down below. In fact, let me grab one right now down 130 okay so we're going to start off where we left off at and the next one was going to be what's going on with YG right now what's currently going on with YG That's interesting. They literally came out like this here. So when a card comes out sideways, it's a blocked energy. So it looks like there's some type of battle here that's literally blocking them. We have the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles does represent, um, like, being out in the cold and getting the cold shoulder, but it does also represent poverty as well. Looks like it has to do with their new creation. Something's not going right. Wow, definitely not going right. Because at the bottom of the deck here, we have the Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Tower. So there's definitely some big issue that is being dealt with with YG. New creation does make me wonder if it has to do with Baby Monster. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't know if that's the only new creation that they have going on here or not. Tell me about this Five of Wands and this Nine of Wands. Let's start off there. Why do we have this Five of Wands and this Nine of Wands? There was a card that wanted to come out, but it sucked back in. Why do we have this Five of Wands and this Nine of Wands?
We got a lot of knights. It's like information that's coming in here to them is becoming an issue. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. Comes with something valuable. And this Knight of Cups is delivering it. Could be focusing more on what they're fantasizing about rather than their financial issue. Like, I was going to say this, but I didn't. Um, I wonder if what's happening here is that they're putting more money into this new creation. than what's coming in. It's like they're, they're putting this pentacles into something that it's not like replenishing. But they have a lot of successful groups. That's what makes me not fully set on that. Why do we have this Ten of Swords here? Can you tell me about this Ten of Swords for YG Entertainments, please? Charging into the unknown. Rushing into it. The Empress at the bottom of the deck. Growing a project. There's some type of stressful secret going on here. First, it felt like there was one card that wanted to come out, but then it was a gajillion here. There's lack of communication somewhere here, and it's just going to pop up somewhere where they're going to wind up. It's like screwing themselves over somewhere here. Charging into it, though, very quickly. We have this daydreaming about the world, what they want the world to see here of this new love that they're very eager to start. They're putting in a lot of energy here. Eight of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. Taking a lot of action, putting in a lot of action, putting in a lot of work, a lot of planning into this new opportunity to bring happiness. They see a lot of success in this, in this new opportunity. But they're charging into unknown stress about this. There's like something heavy within it. Something that's not working out how they planned and how they need it to work out. Why is this Three of Swords here?
Why do we have this three of swords here for YG? Why do we have this Three of Swords here for YG Entertainment and what's currently going on with them? There's a burden on them. on what they're putting all of their focus into, all their attention. Starting to weigh heavy with this plan. They're being eager about it. Jumping right into it. Just taking the wand and going. It's almost like counting the chickens before they hatch here for some reason. Coming up to a blockage with this plan. It's like they see it and they know it. It's like trying to balance out past success here. with a beautiful project. I wonder actually if this whole group thing's supposed to repair overindulgence. They're doing too much. So what's happening here? They need to take control. They're creating their own crisis moment here, their own heartache, their own pain, because they're focusing too much on this rather than broadening their horizons and focusing on everybody, everyone. Um, every group that they have going on here it looks like there's a possibility that they could wind up losing some people not saying from baby monster and that but um they're not focusing on the things that they need to be focusing on it's like they're putting in too much of their attention into this group um baby monster um wanting it to be too perfect um rather than focusing on all the other ones and making sure that they are or um, somewhere else, but I feel as though it would be another group because they, they're the ones that bring in the money. So, it looks like they're creating, at the moment, their own destruction, and if they don't see it now, which it, I, I want to say that they, with how it's right now, what we have with the first deck, I think they're starting to recognize it recognize the issue this destruction moment that they're creating for themselves alrighty our next question is going to be what trials will baby monster have to con conquer in 2023 I'm sorry I don't know why I said 2023 What trials will Baby Monster have to face? What trials will Baby Monster have to face? So it looks like it's going to be walking away from things and content continuing this path taking this love opportunity it's like taking this opportunity that brings them a lot of love a lot of joy a lot of happiness especially next to the wish fulfillment card here nine of cups receiving that it looks like they're going to have a hard time leaving things behind them 
emotionally. I mean, we got all cups here. So definitely emotions involved here. Leaving past emotions behind, leaving things behind that no longer serves them with them taking this opportunity because they see the wish fulfillment up ahead. I'm really seeing what they're going to have to leave like at home for in order to continue on with this path, this opportunity. We'll get a few more cards here. What are the trials that baby monster will have to face? Another eight. Eight of swords feeling stuck. It's like... It's like a repeating answer here. Walking along this path, leaving this energy behind, these emotions here, going towards this bound feeling, feeling a little cornered, not knowing what to do, like, um, at times like a trapped rat, if you will, not saying any of them are rats, but just saying as a phrase, um, but it has to do with their work and what they're putting energy into. I could see them reflecting on things here with these cups that they leave behind. Because they know that they're putting all their effort into what they love, what they really enjoy. Where they're, where they're planting their seeds with walking away here. They really enjoy it. It's almost, it's, it's a wish fulfillment. Again, like I said, it's like a repeating answer. But this Eight of Swords could also be like not really knowing how to feel about this situation, at least for some of them. I'm sure there's some kind of like homesick that would be involved as well with this, but there's also seeing this goal here at the end of the tunnel too while they're planting these seeds. So it's not like something that they regret. It's not like this is like uber negative or anything, but it's just, it's the inevitable. It's what it is kind of situation. It is what it is. Having to leave things behind to move forward to putting in all these, these seeds of, basically love energy to see it flourish and prosper. Alrighty, our next question is going to be, will Baby Monster change your name to Bayman? Sorry if I mispronounced that. Will Baby Monster change your main, main name to Bayman? Will Baby Monster change their group name to Bayman? Mm -hmm. We didn't get any aces. We get aces, especially for a shot, is like a, a yes. But here we have a page of pentacles and the two of pentacles. So there's this learning, though, about this journey. What to apply to it to make it better, to find this balance here that needs to be found. Trying to see things from another perspective here with the hanged man at the bottom of the deck. Planting the seeds, feeling stuck. Will Baby Monster change your name 
here's the three of pentacles Interesting. So here we have a Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck here with the Three of Pentacles, the third party, the third creative contract, please. Now, the Queen of Cups does also represent um, love and honesty. Why do we have this Queen of Cups here? Why do we have this king of uh, king this queen of cups here? Why do we have this queen of cups? Going crazy. New love. Making a decision. on the thoughts here. I don't know who this Queen of Cups is, 100%, of course. But if this is a member, they could be coming up with a name change here. I don't know where the name Bayman came from. Um, So, it looks like if there's going to be a name change, this Queen of Cups is going to be involved with it. If it's going to be, be Bayman, I'm not 100%. But it looks like this... Queen of Cups is what's going to be helping them change their name. Now, yes, we did get an ace here now. So that could be Four of Swords is trying to come out from the top of the deck, which is finding healing here. What we have right here is a good chance. Again, I don't know where the name Bayman came from. Um, I don't know the origin of it. Um, if if it was a water sign um, that had came up with it or not. But it looks as though with us asking this question, there's going to be a water sign that's going to be coming up with a new name, if not the Bayman name. Alrighty, our next question is going to be, will they do an R&B concept? Oh, getting crazy here. <laughs> My hands and stuff. Will Baby Monster do an R&B concept? Will Baby Monster do an R&B concept? Okay, so this comes flying out, and I'm like, hey, look at that, we get an ace, right? And I'm like, it's even the ace of swords, is taking action, speaking truth. And then I see the tower card at the bottom of the deck, and I'm like, positive or negative here? <laughs> positive. Looks like it, so far. Hmm. It looks like it it's a thought but see we come out with an ace. So it seems like it's something that they might start off with and like a a thought and I'm I'm really picturing like um a chart of different ideas and this could have been one of the ideas that came up 
then we have the tower card, right? I thought it was positive because then we have this King of Pentacles energy, which is getting to the goal, but it is next to the tower card. And then the chariot card, which is the fastest movement in the deck, so quickly moving to apathy here with an offer coming in and waiting for like a solid answer here with this King of Swords energy on a win. It's like they're trying to come out with a concept here. Can you give us more depth of what's here? Can you give us more depth of what we have here for Baby Monster and them doing an R&B concept? chunk I don't normally like taking chunks but I've learned that if they come out there's a reason so it looks like this tower card is on the positive side here of this question They're learning about what it's like. They're learning about the outcome of the possibility. Like if they would follow suit with doing an R&B concept. Like would it manifest happiness that they would want to hold on tight and continue being eager with? And would it bring happiness to them? Like closing out the cycle here, defeating anything that comes along their way with happiness, pure joy and happiness. So with what we have here, it looks like a very good possibility. I mean, like I've said before, I think it was the last question that if, you know, an ace comes out right away, it's a yes. I wanted to make sure because we have the tower card. I wanted to make sure it was positive, like a burst of energy. And that's really what it kind of looks like here with what we have. So compared to what the cards are coming out with, yes, it looks like it's a very good chance. At least how energies are now, if they sit. Alrighty, our next question is going to be, will Baby Monster do a girl crush concept? And you know, I want to say when I seen these questions, I kind of wondered, well, I wonder if they would try to merge them together. Try to be a little creative about it, you know, be a little different. But that's just my, my, me wondering, you know, me and my creative mind being curious. But sometimes when it does that, it, it is pretty accurate, like, the, the Nintendo, the original NES, I remember I thought, huh, wouldn't that be something if they came out with uh, a little miniature one you can just hook up to the TV and not have to put a cartridge in and it has games on it already. Sure enough, five years later, <laughs> like, holy cow, I saved that one in my notes too, my phone, so I could look back on it. So I found out I did it. I was like, wow, no way. Will Baby Monster do a girl crush concept will baby monster do a girl crush concept oh thank you for not falling it did come out sideways so I wonder if the energy is a little blocked on trying to make a decision
back at this three of swords here again. It's almost like they might see it bringing pain. Like something not turning out good with it. With the girl crush concept. Because it looks like it's going to it would man manifest. Um, sleepless nights. There's fear of some type of heartache and pain here. Maybe even disappointment. It's like trying to learn from the past things that they things that they've balanced out here. Reflecting on the things that's kept them up late at night. And balancing that out and applying it to how they want the whole baby monster group to pan out here. That could be why the Knight of Swords came out sideways because they could very well be not quite keen on this concept. It looked like something might have happened in the past that had created an issue with it. So with how this is coming out, I would say no. But they're reflecting on the past about it. So there's a chance, but not a good one. Not a high chance. Our next question is going to be, will Baby Monster face a scandal before they debut. Will Baby Monster face a scandal before they debut? Will Baby Monster, well, okay. Virgo energy here starting out with the Hermit card moving to at the bottom of the deck with a new creation. So thinking in solitude very deeply about what they want to create here. What's their new creation here. And now we got the Five of Pentacles. Feeling the out, of, out in the cold thing here with the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why do we have the Five of Pentacles here for Baby Monster? And if they're going to be going through a scandal or dealing with a scandal before they debut. You know, I gotta say, when I first seen this question, I was like, well, I hope not. So we're asking about the Five of Pentacles. I'm clarifying. Because of what we got out. The Three of Swords with the Two of Cups. There's some type of heartache and pain on a partnership here. Oh my. Okay. It's charging towards this new creation. And it looks like it's going to affect the payment. Like what's expected out of this new creation.
it could be where that poverty if you uh watch earlier i think it was actually in the first question it seemed like there was some type of money issue it looks like this I'll give you my opinion and I'll give you what I heard. <laughs> well, I'll give you what I heard and what my opinion. I heard embezzling. Now, me personally, I don't know. I don't know YG Entertainment. I don't know. You guys know I don't know anything about this stuff besides what you guys say. And when I go to write their um, name cards and that, I'll Google search real quick. Um, sometimes see something update too. So, I don't, I can't, per, I can't connect the dots on knowledge, but I'm just letting you know what I heard. I would hope that's not the case. I want to say I also don't see how that's the case. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles, please. Can you tell me more about this Five of Pentacles? Yeah. On their win, on what they, on their goal on this project here, this new creation, this new opportunity. So some type of scandal is going to affect um, this whole thing, it looks like. Dang. I don't I don't like that. <laughs> Why don't I like that? Because it's negative. <laughs> negative negative reading. I don't like it when readings turn out that way, but not everything is sunshine and daisies, you know. Okay, our next question is asking about... Sorry, I have my pen at it and it's all wonky. What does YG think about the Vietnamese member? What does baby mom... What does YG... YG, what does YG think about the Vietnamese member? What does YG think about this Vietnamese member? Two cards that wanted to come out, but they went right back in. What does... Okay, okay. Let's just go all over the place here now. Scattered energy. Even a burst of it. It's going to do it like this. <laughs> because that's how they came out. This might have something to do with this Five of Pentacles here. Not just saying about... Um... Because of the last question. But... 
we're getting it again. We're definitely going to clarify it because we start out really good here. And then at the bottom of the deck. It's like the Five of Pentacles energy. It's like they're trying to keep it hidden. If you guys remember watching the other videos before, wasn't there a lot of Seven of Swords coming out? And Three of Swords? I wonder if this is what it's relating to. Because the Five of Pentacles is next to the Moon card. It's being, it's unknown. It's, it's a mystery. It's, it's hidden. And everything else starts out great. There's this happy information, you know, giving attention to it, being very dedicated to it. But in the dark here, this Five of Pentacles energy. is hidden. So if that's the case, I wonder personally if it would have something, if it would affect the other members, which I would assume it would if it would affect one and it has something to do with finance and etc. etc. Why do we have this moon card and the five of pentacles together? Tell me about this moon card and the five of pentacles. Being eager on the journey here. Leaving things behind, having to leave things behind that no longer serve. And taking action to travel. Why do we have this moon card and five of pentacles? It's almost like being stuck in a certain situation here. It's at the bottom of the deck. This eager traveler here, adventurer, is socializing about it. The situation, even celebrating it. And we have the Eight of Swords at the bottom, which is feeling bound. It's like being stuck in the corner here, not knowing which way to go because... You're just, you're stuck. Whatever option you take, it's no better than the other. Here we have the Six of Cups. Next to the Two of Swords. It's like reflecting on a decision here while being in the Eight of Swords energy. like quickly regretting this decision here but keeping it hidden So it's like <laughs> they're going to show off one way and really feel another way. They're not going to be happy about the decision that they made. While that person is celebrating and socializing about it. 
now I'm thinking about the seven of swords that kept popping up in the readings before. I don't remember which one it was, but it was one of the videos. It's sneaky, sneaky snakes. Well, now this is going to be interesting. Our last question for this one here. We're ending off with, will the, oh, sorry, will the Vietnamese member make baby monster successful? Will the Vietnamese member make baby monster successful? Will the Vietnamese member make Baby Monster successful? But yet we get all this positivity at the bottom of the deck. When Karma San Diego is going on with this energy. So we start off with the Queen of Wands here. Fire energy. Feminine energy. Oh, beauty, intuition here. Being courageous and brave. The wish fulfillment and planning it. Putting work into it, effort. It's a loving connection here. She's very happy with actions of the partnership. And pertains to her wheel of fortune and taking a new journey here. Well, now, why were we getting what we were getting beforehand? I wonder if that deals with an, a different one, you think? Let's see what we have at the top of the deck here. It looks like this Vietnamese person that this one here is discussing is saying that it's going to help. <laughs> That they will bring success. They will bring victory. A strong one at that too will be bringing a helping hand to a strong blockage. Reviving and bringing back to life this nurturing career in uh, finance. So with what we have here, it looks like, um, yeah, the Vietnamese member would make baby monster successful now like i said i don't know if there's more than one vietnamese member that either a um had auditioned and you know and either got accepted or was told they were accepted or however they do all of that i'm just giving you the options of the possibilities so it looks like there's at least a Vietnamese member that would make Baby Monster successful. Alright you guys, that's where I'm going to leave this one off at. And yes, um, we will be doing more parts, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> I'm down to a whole page <laughs> of questions and I gotta throw on some more. I'm not complaining. I'm just giggling and sharing about it. Um, so please don't forget to hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe. Um, until next time, you guys. Afi Zane. Bye-bye.